top 10 coins to buy in 2020 welcome back guys it's crypto rocco from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys i'll be sharing with you my top 10 cryptocurrency and how to actually invest or trade them as well so i'll be sharing with you my guide my crypto investing guide i'll be sharing with you how to trade or whether you are more of an investor the structure of this video guys will be I'll be talking about the top 10 coins from the first one to the last one. I'll briefly talk about what the fundamentals is and then I'll do what I do best. I'll do my technical analysis. I'll share my charts for those coins and maybe share with you some of the investment strategies of what you can look for to buy. So that is the structure of the video. I'll start from the first one, then I'll carry on through all the coins. I'll explain to you briefly what they are and then I'll give you a technical analysis as well. And to end the video, guys, I'll be sharing with you an update on uh, an introduction to my trading strategy. I might make another longer video later just on investing, trading and, and how to kind of have a crypto portfolio. In this video, like I said, I'll be sharing with you my top 10 coins. So first of all, I want to give you guys a happy new year to 2020. If you have been following me, guys thank you very much for subscribing to my channel it's been going on for going on for over two years and i really appreciate each and every one of you if you if you've not subscribed yet i really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel uh, it really means a lot to me and i think that the content i provide is a lot different to everyone else and i cover trading investing news i try to cover everything cryptocurrency related and i might be looking to doing a bit more forex as well going forward so without further ado let's get into the video so what is my first coin to buy in 2020? It is ta -ta -da -da, Bitcoin. Whether you watch this video, uh, whichever year you ask me the best cryptocurrency to buy, I'd always say Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. Uh, there are cryptocurrency. There are cryptocurrencies that I like, but a lot of cryptocurrencies are a lot of hype. You know, they're trying to sell you stuff. Uh, Bitcoin, I think, is one of the only few coins that you know what they're trying to do is amazing the decentralization i'm not going to go into detail on exactly the every feature of bitcoin i'll give you guys an in, in introduction i recommend you watch this video where i share with you in a bit more detail why i'm so bullish on bitcoin longer term the short term price might go down i'll be doing more videos on it but longer term i could not be more bullish on bitcoin i really like bitcoin and i think longer term it will go up so let's do a quick introduction to what is bitcoin bitcoin is an innovative payment network and a new kind of money i highly recommend you read the white paper you could cl click on it and uh, you could find it through their website you could click on go through wikipedia and read the white paper if you're investing in cryptocurrency i highly recommend you read the white paper i might make a video uh, on the white paper to do my introduction but i really recommend you uh, read the white paper if you're in if you're interested in or if you're just more likely interested in in bitcoin or cryptocurrency so bitcoin is a, d a cryptocurrency it is decentralized digital currency without a central bank or single administrator that can send uh, that can be sent from user to user on the peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin network without the need for intermediaries and Satoshi Nakamoto was the first person to kind of invent this he wrote the white paper we don't know who this is uh, there are obviously could be bitcoin there are issues with bitcoin that you know it's maybe slow to transfer the mining fees and and the, the issues with you know the uh, the consumption electric consumption uh, for mining fees but bitcoin what it allows us to do is is never no one's ever uh, been able to create something like this you know being able to uh, get rid of the issue of double spend and you know if you look at the dollar the the inflation of dollar the amount of dollar and currency that are being printed uh, we're not sure what's going to happen in the future if there is a stock market cash uh, a crash could bitcoin be a hedge i'm not sure if it will or not uh, if it is bitcoin could go to a million or could go to a, a lot higher i'm not making those claims but i'm just saying if bitcoin is a store of value and and people you know think bitcoin can be a store of value similar to gold which i think which which is my thoughts on bitcoin i think bitcoin Bitcoin is more similar to gold than uh, than a new currency. I think there might be other ways we have new currencies. You know, governments can be creating their own currency. But I think Bitcoin is here to stay, and uh, I, I'm I'm heavily invested in Bitcoin. And um, I'll share with you my sort of uh, portfolio arrangements at the end of the video. But if you're not invested in, uh, I mean, from my thoughts again, please, you know, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts. I would like some exposure to Bitcoin. So that is my quick thoughts on Bitcoin, guys. The second video, 
I've already, I've, I've already revealed to you my second coin but before I do that let me have a quick look at Bitcoin charts for you and do a simple analysis I recommend you subscribe to my channel join my Facebook group check out uh, the educational course I've got because I provide daily updates on them and also I'm creating a new website so you'll be able to check that out very soon I've not released it yet at the moment I've just got this educational group I'll leave all the links below if you're interested in checking checking it out uh, where I give daily updates on where Bitcoin is going but at the moment guys what we're looking at Bitcoin is um, Bitcoin had this crazy rise at the start of the year and now we're looking for a lower high you know at the moment we've not really had a strong weekly trend change yet so we're still in a weekly downtrend if we can make a higher high and a higher low that will be good i shared a chart you know this is a trade setup i shared with you guys in the group a couple of hours ago that worked out really well at the moment if this breaks guys we could be going a lot lower so this is exactly what we're looking at from a high point of view from a shorter point of view let me actually share with you what um this is again not an after the fact this is an update i posted a couple of hours ago in the group and i talked about a short trade to the 618 range as you can see and let's have a look what's happened again i'm not saying this is always the case i lose trades as well but this is a strategy that we use a pullback strategy and you can see exactly where it bounced from the 618 range rsi got oversold and uh, at the moment we're in a downtrend guys if we can pull back and start moving up higher get above 50 percent zone then i'll start changing my bias but we are in a bear market so be careful before i get into detail about the next coin ethereum what i'd like to say bitcoin guys if bitcoin is in a downtrend guys it will affect altcoins and uh, how usually the altcoins and the other coins work is if bitcoin is consolidating altcoins can make moves up if bitcoin is making a move down or up altcoins don't do very well so it's very important for us new traders to understand what Bitcoin is doing. If Bitcoin is in a bear market, guys, and it keeps going down, all coins won't be able to get that move up so please uh, bear that in mind guys uh, technical analysis does trading does work uh, if you're invested in a coin and and you think it's a really good coin we have seen coins in an uptrend even with bitcoin going down we've seen Chainlink do stuff crazy we've seen other coins that have been uh, going up but it's really it's really important to see what bitcoin is doing uh, that's the one disclaimer i wanted to share with you guys um, like i said make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'm not shilling the channels uh, my channel i'm sharing with you how, how i can communicate with you to let you guys know when altcoins can be doing well but if bitcoin can consolidate and move up higher uh, it can be really really good move for uh, altcoins as well we had the best altcoin rallies near the end of the bull market and i think that could be something similar as well there are opportunities in the short term but those coins even with good fundamentals they'll run higher if if bitcoin is doing well so the best uh, the best will always rise to the top if you're invested in a coin that is really good they've got a good backing a real use case then in the future it, it can go to a lot higher prices so the next coin is ethereum guys so uh, what is ethereum ethereum uh, uh, this is according to their website is the foundation of the new in uh, new era of internet uh, where money and payments are built in you know uh, users can use their own data your apps don't spice and steal from you internet where everyone has access to open financial system An internet built on neutral open access infrastructure controlled by no company or person and bitcoin is similar to Ethereum is similar to Bitcoin, uh, but it, it also goes the next step as well. It is purely digital. It can be sent to anyone, and the supply isn't controlled by government. And uh, Ethereum can do a lot more. Like I said, Ethereum is programmable, which means that developers can use it to build new kinds of applications and D apps. And we've seen that happen. And one thing I will say is, guys, Ethereum seems to be old and is not the shiny thing um, like some of the other new projects you see. Then I'll talk about them. But from my conversations, again, I'm not the most expert i'm not a cryptographer or, or a coder but i've been to these lots of meetup events and people that are more knowledgeable than me I'm more, I'm more of a trader but i'm interested in cryptocurrency and cryptography and coding and people have told me that ethereum that people actually use it to send money they they have got real use cases they've got the the largest most active community in blockchain there there's less incentive on ethereum for, for especially from you know speculative bubbles ethereum you don't see that as much obviously we saw that in 2017 like the whole cryptocurrency market but i think ethereum is definitely a lot more decentralized than some of the other shinier projects that can claim to cure cancer so keep ethereum in mind i'll have i'll definitely have some money in the ethereum 
Ethereum coin if you ask me I like I said I'm, I'm quite bullish on Ethereum and I would like to uh, if you're new to cryptocurrency I would recommend at least having some uh, investments in Ethereum so that is my second coin I want to talk about guys um, and um, I, mean, I think I'll give you a brief introduction to Ethereum and it's like a platform where other people pro other programmers can create D apps decentralized apps and um, there's loads of coins are our ERC20 tokens most of them were ERC20 tokens if you guys remember most of the coins uh, they create their own platforms and move into their mainnet launches that they do about like Tron and but most of the coins that were Ethereum ERC20 tokens so they use the Ethereum platform to create their own coin so that is the power of Ethereum guys it is yeah I don't think cryptocurrency would have been as big without Ethereum so Ethereum definitely gets a shout out and like I said if you're if you're new to cryptocurrency or you've been here a while I would definitely recommend having some uh, ethereum there's hundreds of thousands of coins but to me ethereum would always take the second place and until something drastic happens I'll always be a big fan of ethereum like I've said most of the cryptocurrency coins if you remember are ERC20 token I mean I'm not I'm not sure exactly how you there's a way to uh, filter for it as well you can if you go and to coin market cap you'll see a lot of the uh, main coins are based on ethereum so that is the reason why I included ethereum at the second and whether it, it gets toppled up or not I think ethereum will be a longer term player here so that, the second coin I want to talk about today guys is ethereum and um hopefully you guys look into ethereum even if it's not a shiny coin you guys do have an eye on ethereum and what ethereum is doing so let's have a quick look at ethereum chart i talked about altcoins doing well when um, uh, when bitcoin is moving sideways another great altcoin indicator is when ethereum is doing well when ethereum is going up uh, altcoin seems to go up quicker so also keep that in mind what are we looking for ethereum ethereum we're looking for a, a higher low again uh, let's see if it can form a base here guys if it can form a base here the 786 fibonacci is a strong fibonacci level that seems to work we want to see a trend change we wanted to get above the red uh, fibonacci uh, red moving average line as you can see if it can do that then we'll be interested in ethereum from a longer term point of view guys we need to hold this level uh, some people are saying this is the bottoming structure we're seeing in ethereum and that could may well be it uh, but i want the markets to tell me that it has made the bottom i don't like to make predictions i like to trade with the markets using my trading strategy that I've been teaching for over two years and you can go back and check all the calls I've made I've not won, won all my trades but if you put them together I'd like to think that I've won more than I have lost so that is what Ethereum is doing at the moment if it can hold this bottom and you, as you, if you want to go back and see how Bitcoin bottomed in here if it can do something similar and has a big green candle big volume spike then I'll be very interested in Ethereum if Ethereum excuse me if ethereum does that then it will be very bullish for other coins as well so let's talk about the next coin i've already mentioned the next coin once in this video i'm going to talk about it again and the next coin the third cryptocurrency is Chainlink. So Chainlink has uh, taken the cryptocurrency market by storm. It is one of the only few coins that have gone up really, gone up a lot. And this, and what they're actually trying to do is very interesting. I've done lots of research in this coin. The partnerships that they're providing. We need a bit more adoption, like everything else. But Chainlink is one of the few coins that have uh, done well. And what they're planning to do, I'll talk about the decentralized Oracle service is great and if they can deliver um, and with the publicity Chainlink has got Chainlink can have another huge move up and um, so let's talk about uh, Chainlink and why it is so interesting so Chainlink guys when smart contracts are mentioned so Chainlink has taken uh, the smart contracts that's almost built on Ethereum so again that's what I like about these coins you know some coins like Tron they try and fight argue that they're a bit better than Ethereum but Chainlink has been doing its own thing and it's actually taking a step forward and we want to see more improvements in the technology so like I'll talk about at the end of the video where I talk about trading versus investing and my investing strategies you know you want to do fundamental analysis you want to invest in coins or um, cryptocurrencies that are going up you, sh you don't want to be investing in coins that are going down so that's why I really like um, 
uh, really like uh, Chainlink and you'll find out a bit more when I give you guys an in introduction. So um, smart contracts with Ethereum meant that blockchain technology could be far more than just a means of conducting finan financial transactions. Uh, Ethereum is programmable like I've said. Whilst that le still leaves them a very useful tool, they aren't as useful as they could be. Creating a way to include data from outside the chain would give smart contracts an immense boost in potential use cases and this is where Chainlink comes in. I recommend you go watch my chain link video I made probably about 10 months ago and then um, their chain link had a crazy rally when everyone was talking about it but at the start of the year uh, that video didn't get many views because not many people knew about chain link this is trading guys I made a video about it 11 months ago that only got seven six seven views when chain link started going up my views started going up as well because more people were looking at chain link so that is really important guys to invest in coins beforehand though that's when you get crazy views and hopefully Hopefully my channel can provide you that information. So when we look at Chainlink guys, so this is where Chainlink takes a step forward. It takes Ethereum and Bitcoin and takes it up, uh, to the next generations. The founders of Chainlink saw this, they moved to fill that gap. Chainlink is being created as a way to use Oracle to pull data from off-chain sources. Chainlink Oracles will be able to use data pools, application program interface, APIs and other real world sources it opens up the possibility for smart contracts to use any data source at all no matter what the source is Chainlink is extremely helpful to pro to projects that need off-chain data to be really useful by giving blockchain access to traditional data sets Chainlink seeks to be the bridge between traditional uh, data and future blockchain technology so you can see how Chainlink comes in and solves a real world issue even I know I said real world issue but you can see that they're, they're, they've got a solution but w how can we apply the solution is quite important as well at the moment uh, uh, it's not really solving a real world issue if if it can that's when cryptocurrency and whole blockchain would, would take off even further in my opinion I'm not going to go into too much detail on on-chain functions I recommend you guys read it if you're interested like I said I'm giving you a fundamental introduction to all these coins I have got a video on Chainlink where I talk a bit, bit more about these information so you can check them out. But this is what Chainlink is doing. They've got some great partnerships. They've got partnership with Google, I believe. Um, and you can see the real uh, world use cases that Chainlink are trying to implement as well. Uh, Swift isn't, <laughs> this is where the line comes in, isn't flat out using Chainlink. It is developing Swift Smart Oracle with the help of Chainlink. So some of the partnerships uh, uh, Chainlink are helping to develop new stuff. How would that, uh, we need, but if you're investing and buying Chainlink, you want uh, the, the company to be using Chainlink. It's an argument with Ripple and XRP as well. So that's another value or argument of what is the value of the token because you're not investing in a company you're investing in a decentralized token so that is something that you need to think about but chain link i had to include chain link uh, and uh, i wasn't sure if i wanted to include it in the top three or a bit lower but there's no way i wasn't going to include chain link so uh, let's have a look at the chain link charts So chain link charts, uh, let me find chain link for you. This will be a slightly longer video, but I recommend you watch it, guys. If you're investing in this market and you want to uh, want to be invested in it longer term, guys, you you really should be doing your research. And an hour long or 45 minute video, it should be the least uh, amount of work that you put in. So here, guys, chain link uh, on a higher time frame, you can see it couldn't break above this red zone. I made videos that if it did break above this red zone, it could be very very bullish. It it tried forming a bottoming here and once it broke down I made a video that it's not looking very good for Chainlink. Unfortunately, like I said, it is not looking so good for Chainlink even if the fundamentals are great and I do, like I said, like Chainlink in the long term. We need Chainlink to be... Excuse me, we, we, we want more adoption from Chainlink. Unless we see more adoption, it's not going to take Chainlink that forward. So uh, what we need to see now from a chart point of view is we need a... A, a we need a weekly or monthly higher low if it can form here then break out of the red zone you could look to buy if it drops bit to around this sort of levels the 1700 the 1500 levels that would be another a place where i look to take a trade at the moment it is at the 618 range which is a very uh, important range and i would uh, you could be looking to take trades now it's moving pulling back to the 20 moving average um, i like to use uh, setups on the daily and the hourly and the daily and the hourly chart can 
can look better it's still in a downtrend it's broken below a huge huge key level uh, so at the moment i'm not as interested but it is at the 618 range if it starts in an uptrend a simple thing again check out my trading course for full details uh, let me share with you and simple trade information is uptrend is like this a higher low a higher high and uh, uh, it breaks out to another higher high this is a simple thing you can look out for or a break above the red zone i do live streams every sunday i recommend you guys check out my live stream guys yeah you, you'll understand a lot of uh, good information just by watching my live stream so highly recommend uh, you guys check my live stream out guys so then uh, that is my thoughts on chain link i wanted to include chain link as the third top cryptocurrency and the next one i talk about guys is going to be ta ta ta, -ta neo so neo is another coin guys um it's similar again it's a platform coins that actually builds on uh sort of the ethereum sort of platform there's loads of coins that have come in into this market similar to what Chainlink is trying to do so we have to be sort of careful guys that we, we're not uh, overly just looking at once one type of coin because when we look at just invest in one sort of coin whether it's bitcoin whether it's privacy coin if if one of them fails guys it might be bad for the cryptocurrency market that's why you need to be looking to diversify you know if you're diversified guys if your coin doesn't do as well it's still good guys because there's uh, other there's other cryptocurrencies that that are being bought and are being sold so that's a really important thing that you need to be invested in more than just one coin because if you're just invested heavily into one coin and and that coin doesn't do very well it's not great for the whole if not it's not great for your portfolio so that is the one reason i've actually uh, i'm talking in, in a bit more detail about uh, about neo because uh, if neo does well it's good for the whole cryptocurrency market so that's why i really wanted to include neo in this as well so let's have a look at what neo is about before i start uh, ranting about the charts and analysis excuse me let me fix this chart for you There we go. Apologies for that little delay. So Neo cryptocurrency, everything you need to know about the Chinese Ethereum. So lately, guys, China has come uh, out and uh, talked about Ethereum. That it uh, talked about not Ethereum or uh, Bitcoin, but it talked about blockchain and said they're very bullish on blockchain and they like that technology. And when that news came out, we saw a huge, huge move up for the uh, for the. Uh, Bitcoin and not just Bitcoin the whole cryptocurrency market had a big push up and uh, Ethereum was one of the bigger beneficiaries in that guys um, I can share with you the Bitcoin chart here um, you can see Bitcoin had a big move up had that big crazy move up and if you check neo neo even had a bigger move up and had another push at the moment it, it's really bad when we see a high low and a higher high we want a trend moving up we don't want it to break down so hopefully neo can from a base and start to move up this is what we're looking at from a chart point of view but from a technical point of view if china are bullish on neo neo could be the ethereum chinese ethereum they can have a lots of projects they can have uh, you know people actually work working on neo and they can see great adoptions and being on the good side if they can uh, again these are rumors that they're you know they've got strong they've got strong contacts in the chinese government and if, if that is a case i want to be invested in a coin and i was very very bullish on neo guys it was one of the few currencies that i actually liked fundamentally if you guys know like i said i'm an ethereum i'm a bitcoin uh, fundamentalist i love bitcoin and i'm more of a trader but neo is one of the first open so uh, decentralized open source and blockchain platform launched in china and neo was called and shares if you guys have been following me or you've been in the cryptocurrency for a lot longer you are aware of neo so gold to be the vanguard in the effort of building a smart economy smart economy is digital assets plus digital identity plus smart contract that they've got a very strong team and this looks like a currency that actually has use cases that are actually trying to solve problems so digital assets neo aims to convert traditional assets into digital ones using smart contract a digital identity so you know you can't go back in blockchain or cryptocurrency so it can play a big part in fingerprints in voice recognitions um 
you know vtrain is another project that was trying to do with the expensive products like once you open it we know that it's been opened so there are things that neo is trying to do that is quite unique and i, I really enjoyed reading up about neo uh, the, the some developers have said neo is something that they can use as well as uh, ethereum it seems to be their most favorite media to use but they do like neo as well and people do use neo from what i have heard in in the conversations i've had with few people and um, so neo is something that I had to include um this is the max supply of neo and gas is the is what actually runs in, in the neo network and these are the maximum supply for neo so gas was formerly known as ant coins and neo was known as ant shares so a gas token has about 100 million hard cap but it acts as a fuel for the neo blockchain unlike the neo token gas is divisible by a factor of 1 to, to 10 to the power 8 and it was not pre-mined 100 million gas tokens will ultimately be generated through the D decay algorithm in 22 years gas will be used for resource allocation network charge operations such as running d apps smart contracts and providing incentive for maintaining blockchain so that is a brief introduction on neo i'll share with you one more thing um, another let me find the article so there are a few things about neo that you know other people can't do so a couple of things is that you know the neo platform and the chinese connections um um what also the regulatory compliance so neo is trying really hard to be the regulator to be uh, one of the leading cryptocurrencies for regulatory compliance and that is that is something that is holding the cryptocurrency market back so if neo can achieve that it will be quite bullish for neo enter on chain while working on neo the cryptocurrency founders uh d d hong for and eric zan won the interest for enterprise prices looking for private blockchain solutions thus emerged on chain so you can see that neo is actually trying to make progression it's not unlike some of the other cryptocurrencies and neo targets the tar uh, business to consumer segments so b2 b2c segments and on-chain targets more b2b and i talked about neo's vision and their involvement potentially with china can give neo a power that other cryptocurrencies not got so i had to include neo as well in this list the next one i'm going to talk about guys be after i've done my quick technical analysis is uh, i've already spoke for half an hour i want to keep this video at least less than an hour around the hour mark so NEO guys, I was really disappointed when it couldn't stay above the 236 Fibonacci level, which is something I use a lot in technical analysis. If you're taking my course or watch my Sunday crypto live streams, you will be aware it is broken below. It's trying to find support at the moving average. And what we like to see now is a basing structure and a breakout. If it can break out, out of, break out of 1264. I will be quite bullish on NEO. If it breaks down here, guys, I won't be as interested in NEO. That is my quick technical analysis on NEO. I can have a look at the NEO USD chart. I'm more of a trader and I look at the NEO BTC chart. I'll talk about my updates on how I trade at the end of the video. But NEO is forming a potential basing structure. But if it, if it breaks down here, guys, it won't be as good. So keep that in mind. The NEO USD chart is quite battered if you guys remember since the huge rally up it has just been breaking down and down and if it breaks below into new lows I definitely won't be interested in NEO guys. So that is my quick technical analysis on NEO uh, but fundamentally it is really good. Technically it might not be looking as good. You might want to wait for a trend change or can maybe buy at the support at the $5 mark but from if you believe in it fundamentally then you could look to invest and i'll talk about trading versus uh, investing trading is more short term investing is more longer term the next coin i'm going to talk about today guys is basic attention token so what is basic attention token this is probably one of the only few coins i'm actually invested in at hard a lot of people tell me that Rocco you just trade you don't really invest i'm actually quite heavily invested in basic attention token at and it is a coin that I do like fundamentally as well. So what is basic, basic attention token? Advertising is one of the cr critical revenue models for the most of businesses online. However, to put it mildly, advertising industry is a dinosaur. Uh, bi bi basic attention token is looking to monetize it. So, you know, Google, Facebook, they've got huge power, guys. They literally control the internet. And the amount of power they've got, guys, I mean, 
unless you've done your research into it guys you don't know how much power facebook and google has uh, they can they can use the videos their platforms to control you know from election to our minds to what we eat to our behaviors they've got huge huge amounts of power so it's really important and uh, that the, we, the decentralizing of that is something that i feel really strongly about we've had lots of issues with facebook and google and um, there's no incentive for users you know the advertisers the publishers pay the advertisers they're not really thinking about the users uh, and it's like a di dinosaur way of investing and we've seen the facebook trial uh, basic attention token comes in it's a digital advertising platform token you can probably understand uh, that my explanation of neo and the other crypto chain link cryptocurrency is not as strong as my explanation of basic attention token just because i like this coin so much again i'm not shilling it. i'm not telling you to go buy this coin it's a coin that i like and I'm, i know a lot lot about uh chain uh, on, on on basic attention token basic to, uh, to basic attention token takes care of the following serves as a unit of exchange by cutting out the middleman rewards users publishers and advisors so the users get paid as well for users getting paid for giving attention to ads publishers get a portion of the ad revenue as is the norm advertisers get better return to return of investment for their content and they've got a browser as well you could definitely check it out brave brave is for privacy and speed i've used it uh, i don't I'm, I'm using here firefox that's what i'm more used to but i have downloaded brave and i have given it a good go and it's not bad it's good to see that they're actually making progression and adoption it's one of the only few currencies that is generating a bit of money as well i know they're not big yet but what they're trying to do is huge and if they can grow it um it could have a huge it could be one of the better bigger crypto bigger cryptocurrencies going in the future and i do really like it like i've said i recommend you guys check it out recommend you guys check out my videos on on brave uh, on basic attention token where i talk about this in a bit more detail but these are some of the reasons why i like the why i really like basic attention token most cryptocurrencies do not make money basic attention is one of the coins that are, are looking to do that and got real world use cases so that is why i really like basic attention token i'll do a cryptocurrency uh, chart te chart te technical analysis to end my section on uh, bat but i had to include bad guys like i said i really like this coin and i think it can have a good future come uh, going forward so that is why i wanted to include bat as my fifth cryptocurrency let's have a quick look at the chart guys so I got really interested in BAT guys when it broke up, broke back into back above this red zone and this is where I shared my trade signals. If you guys remember I shared an exact trade signal in the group. Uh, you can go check out my videos as well on it. These were not after the facts. These signals were provided before the fact it went up. I probably won't be able to go back and find it so I'm going to leave it. But if you're interested guys you can definitely go check out my YouTube videos on when I made uh, about uh, BAT basic attention token breaking up i shared an exact signal when to buy and it had a huge breakout and you could see exactly where it stopped it stopped at the 236 level now we're hoping that it can form a basing structure here the ending diagonal the famous ending diagonal pattern trade uh, signal that i provided this was a free signal provided in the facebook group and youtube but this ending diagonal that had a huge breakout above up could bat be forming something like that on a smaller scale it's not as strong but i'm definitely keeping an eye out for it and maybe i look to buy a pullback or a breakout of a uh, two seven two three that's why it's important to understand technical analysis you can take check, check out my course i don't just trade the pattern like everyone else i'll trade it slightly differently i'll use support and resistance and pullback strategy i, de I definitely recommend check out the educational live group that I'm, I'm running now and if you're watching this video a bit later maybe check out the call uh, the website because that website should be live if, in a couple of months time if not you could check this out as well so guys that is my kind of thoughts on basic attention token if it can stay above this zone guys this red zone or at least if you're investing in it longer term maybe have your stop loss below sort of the 1500 1600 zone or if it gets back below it i bought a lot more uh, when it was starting this basing format i bought some of the double bottom and when it broke out i took profit at 236 and i still own some basic attention token this is a full disclosure i'm not telling you guys to buy it i'm just telling you guys what how i'm looking to trade and what i own
so uh, that is the uh, the cryptocurrency that I want to talk about the next cryptocurrency is slightly different and the next cryptocurrency I'm going to talk to you guys about is XMR Monero so you guys are probably seeing a simple pattern I talked about Bitcoin and then Ethereum then I talked about slightly different platform coins like about Link and Neo well Link is trying to do something different but then I talked about uh, Neo there's you know that sort of uh, Early 2018 was a platform cryptocurrency. Every every day there was new platforms being launched or getting popular like ICX, ADA, EOS, Silica. They're obviously slightly different, but they're trying to do something similar. And we we're wondering which one will take, uh, which one will take the next step forward and become sort of the king of that uh, of the area and the the one that gets most publicity, most adoption, and solve real world use cases will be the one that wins. Monero is something completely different. It is a cash for the uh, for a connected world. It's fast, private, and secure. the The key word is a private. It's a private digital cryptocurrency. You can set you can spend it safely without anyone knowing or cannot seeing your balances or track your activities. Completely secure, decentralized cryptocurrency. It's private. That and I've looked into quite a few anonymous uh, cryptocurrencies, and I don't think a lot of them comes near Neo. Um, Neo is def sorry, not Neo. Uh, Monero is definitely my favorite crypto pri private cryptocurrency, and I wanted to include one private cryptocurrency because I'm sharing with you a balanced portfolio, and ne uh, Monero is definitely private, and um, <laughs> that could be a negative thing. Law, law enforcement or governments could try and ban neo but if everything is banned bitcoin and everything at least neo is so private people can't be able to access who the transactions are going to and from so that's why i had to include neo zcash is also good but uh, uh, for me uh, neo is my favorite and i had to include neo and uh, if people are saying the verge uh, Verge is their favorite cryptocurrency. I don't agree with you, uh, but this is just my thoughts. So Monero is uh, private, is untraceable. Sending and receiving addresses as well as transacted amounts are obfuscated by default. Transaction on the Monero blockchain cannot be linked to a particular user or real-world identity. That is a problem with Bitcoin and especially Litecoin. I mean Litecoin. I did. I haven't included Litecoin in the top ten yet. It might be in. In later on in my top 10 series and the reason for that is you know uh, it's, they've made a lot of promises with light pay and now they're making promises on fungibility Monero's already got that Monero is completely fun fungible because it's private by default units of Monero cannot be blacklisted by vendors or exchanges due to their association with previous transactions and if you're interested in learning more about fungibility I recommend you check out my Litecoin video the uh, Litecoin to a thousand I know it's a crazy price prediction I made but definitely check out that video on Litecoin guys I released it uh, six days ago uh, so this is the title of the video uh, LG LTC $2,000 in 2020 and fungibility I recommend you check that video out guys if you're interested in more learning more about fungibility but I had to include NEO as more of a slightly different coin to everything else and I would definitely recommend owning some uh, privacy coin if you're looking from an investing point of view. I'm more of a trader. I'll, I'll keep an eye out on what the chart is doing. And if the chart is looking bullish, I'll be looking to trade and buy Monero. So Monero, guys, uh, it's been in a straight downtrend. It's not trend changed, as you can see, if you look at the higher time frame it's not really being able to make higher lows and higher highs and and as you can see i was talking about the ending diagonal pattern this one broke out but couldn't get above the red moving average and the higher low and a higher high and now it's looking to break down this could be a decent price to buy at these sort of level the 6000 level and see if it can get a push up if it breaks below and c can't get it back above the red zone quickly then i will probably cut buying monero from a trading point of view if you like it from an investing point of view you could look to hold it but that is my thoughts but i would look, keep an eye out for monero i wouldn't probably go and invest a lot of money on it i'm not invested in monero at the moment i'm being really transparent and i think my, my channel is one of the most transparent channels on youtube again i don't do promotions of different exchanges i share with you what i'm doing i do trade a course sell a course um and I, if you want to buy the before you invest in buying the course you could take my come and join the educational group uh, for literally 20 30 whatever dollars 
and uh, if you enjoy the group then you could look to trade the course and you can see how powerful uh, the strategies that I teach are and I definitely said when the website launches I'll, leave, I'll update you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and you could find out more about me and what I do and you could watch my live <laughs> live streams as well to see what I'm about and just try out tr do a trial and if you enjoy it, you could uh, look to use one more of my informations but I definitely recommend uh, make sure you make sure you subscribe guys because it put a lot of effort into this video and i try to be as transparent as possible that is my thoughts on the xmr so i've shared with you six coins up to now bitcoin ethereum link uh, neo x uh, bat and xmr the, the 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 next four coins i'll start off with tezos so tezos is a coin that i really like from a fundamental point of view and it's probably a coin that I'm, I, I overlooked i missed a really important trade on it it had a had a big breakout recently and uh, let me share that with you not one simple thing is guys don't buy coins that are up at the top look to buy coins that when they're down so when it came to this zone you shouldn't be looking to buy you should be looking to buy when it's down here at the 618 786 ranges or uh, near a double bottom range this one came to the 618 zone then had a move up and I shared a technical analysis saying don't buy Matic here and, and the next day it drops 70 80 percent so you need to be buying things when they're down here not at the top there and again I share with you a lot more information on the trading course and how to do that but it's really important that you don't do it because if you do do that guys you, you lose it's a quick very quick way of losing your money so let's talk let quickly talk about uh Tezos because again this is more of a fundamental investing uh, video not as much as a trading video so ICO was a very hyped like most cryptocurrencies and people thought you know this could be the next big thing and people flocked to buying uh, uh, the ICOs but after the ICO the price goes down but this is still looking good the governance and this secure smart contracts of what this is trying to build is really really interesting tezos had created a swiss foundation to control his assets due to relaxed banking regulations in switzerland what the pain failed pair failed to factor in that under the swedish law of board of directors of the foundation of complete con to control of all the assets of the foundation so that was a issue that ico had and even though i really liked it tezos that was a big problem and like i said you know it's had a contentious past uh, regaining the control uh, the tezos foundation is preparing itself to assist in the timely launch of the tezos network for there's some silence in there again that's why this invest in this industry i don't tell you to just got buy loads of them and invest all your money in this because it's such a new market that you're investing in yes the returns can be crazy high but there is a chance everything could go to zero so you have to be really really careful on what you invest in we value and respect the privacy of our contributors along with countless others around the world we personally oppose to the unnecessary collection of personal information that has become pervasive on the internet however it is important to understand and comply with the rapidly evolving regulatory landscape to that end performing kyc and aml check has become a norm for blockchain project is the best way forward so now that is the past to the past but you can see what uh, tezos is about when you compare it a bit more with ethereum smart contracts platform uh, built in governance facilitates formal verification delegates proof of stake you know ethereum is proof of work to proof of stake pre-sale was in july 2017 and this is how much it raised it raised huge amounts and it was near the 2017 or even earlier uh, the hype season where everything was going up like crazy so how does tezos work tezos in many ways the same manner as other blockchains but the key difference the innovative difference is how the additions and changes are made to the blockchains that develop approach proposes some changes or upgrades to the tasers protocol when they can also attach an invoice to the proposal if the change is approved by the community added in the next upgrade they get paid in tasers token so the governance factor is quite interesting and they're trying to uh, be more regulatory friendly and and the medical and the ecosystem of what they're trying to do is really really important and i could see uh, having a major part i mean it, if ethereum and bitcoin is the first or second generations this is more of a third generation and like i said there's few coins that are trying to make a mark in this so it's very difficult to use you know whether i use tezos in this top 10 but i'll, I'll 
Tezos tipped it slightly and maybe the chart made me think about this as well but Tezos you know is a quite interesting coin and I would keep an eye out for it decentralized automated upgrades no hard forks who's behind Tezos the team is better than some of the well, most of the other cryptocurrencies and the community is vibrant as well so there's few reasons why I wanted to include Tezos in my top 10 reviews hopefully you guys find Tezos interesting as well and although it is a controversial coin guys i would keep an eye out for tezos definitely if you're looking to buy uh, if you're looking if you look if you're interested in cryptocurrency i would look at tezos and there are some other interesting articles uh, some people say you know tezos could be the next one going up uh, it could be beating could be beating bitcoin i don't agree with it but the chart it was looking good and there's a good team backing it and what they're trying to do is very interesting and i wanted to include tezos in the top 10 review and there's more articles you can read about it the on-chain government the, the the liquid proof of stake is something i do like and i think it's better than some of the other ones as well i, I was wanted to include eos uh, i think tezos nipped eos and ada slightly for me um, and i think that governance process was quite important the intellectual property is an issue which i already discussed but i think there has there has been improvements in it so it's not like a pump and dump to me especially how they have jumped back uh, it's been quite good to see that they have jumped back so that is my um other the next coin in the top 10 review i've already done a technical analysis guys if tezos can break above the two dollar mark i will buy tezos in simple terms make sure uh, you check out my content you subscribe to my content to get an update but if tezos can get above two dollars guys i will be looking to buy tezos um let's have a quick look at the btc chart the btc chart would be the twenty thousand four hundred level for me to buy tezos at the moment we are below the 20 moving average so i'm not really looking to buy tezos unless we get above or if we pull back to sort of the 1300 range the 1200 ranges 786 level i'll probably look to buy some more tezos but at the moment um, i'm not really looking to trade it for investing i'd also recommend you know when it breaks into new highs or pulls back to these cheap levels if you really like it fundamentally you could look to buy right let me go to the next one guys quickly this video's already been 46 minutes long i want to keep it within an hour so the next one is binance coin and i wanted to include binance coin probably i should have included it beforehand and the simple reason is you probably heard about binance they're one of the biggest exchanges for trading cryptocurrency they've got a huge amount of money and the simple reason is guys they they're the, one of the only few coins a cryptocurrency that actually make money they make huge amounts of money in exchange fees they have also got as you can see they do coin burns they're a good player in the market cz is a respectable person and i think they've been quite good with you know the hacking as well they've all they always had tried to help the people and not steal from people we've seen exchanges go down binance coin hasn't so i just had to include binance in that list it, uh, binance actually made a video best cryptocurrency to buy and i talked about binance this year and if you had been subscribed to my channel you probably uh, made money on that call and the reason why I, I picked binance it should be on my watch list is because of that you know you could see how it's going up and up see, when it when it went like this it was very parabolic and when it broke down and couldn't make it to new highs we knew it was going to struggle and go down it could be forming a bottoming structure here if it can excuse me if it can get above the red zone I will be interested in buying buying Binance again. So that is my quick thoughts on Binance. And like I said, I do like Binance to do well going forward. And the main reason, simple terms, is because Binance is one of the only few coins that is making money in this. So even if the chart is not looking good, Binance is a very, very powerful player in this market. Let me have a quick look at the Binance USD chart before I go along. I wanted to keep this video short, so uh, well, an hour long. I don't want to make it too long. Like I said, it's coming into a zone where you look to start looking to invest in it. I mean, maybe around you know the ten dollar mark or a bit lower. I'd probably look to buy some Binance. Maybe stop below or wait for a trend change to buy Binance. I mean, I'd look to accumulate more Binance if it does quit going and up to comes it comes back to these levels uh, especially when it i mean i bought my binance if you remember my um, i'll be able to see it in this chart i was looking to buy binance at these levels and make sure you go back and check them out binance has been a coin that i like and i've given you simple reasons why 
the next coin so we're down to the last two coins and this is probably the most controversial coin i wasn't sure whether to pick this coin or not but i think i had to pick it just because what they're trying to do is amazing and if they can deliver what they're trying to do could be huge for cryptocurrency going forward so the coin that i want to talk about is ripple xrp i wasn't sure if i wanted to include this but i think i had to include it just because it's such a powerful player in the industry so what ripple is trying to do is amazing this they're trying to solve a real world problem my concern again like i've made hundreds of youtube, YouTube videos on xrp because it's probably the most popular ones on my channel is what is the value of xrp yes ripple is great and ripple has got partners but ripple is the company behind it uh, and you know if ripple people use ripple they can use ripple services without using xrp so that is something that you need to keep in mind or some of the partnerships with ripple that that doesn't directly affect xrp so that is a really important thing to understand guys the problem they're trying to solve is great but can they incorporate xrp in it as well if they can't incorporate xrp in it as well that doesn't look good for xrp and that is a simple reason why i'm not going all out on this it's a coin that i like if it goes in an uptrend i'll buy uh, i've given live updates on xrp because people a lot of people trade xrp and you know i made videos on when i was looking to sell xrp when i'm looking to buy xrp you know these are two levels that you know coming into a in, if you're in an investor you should be looking to buy and i'd buy a lot at 14 cents level i mean i made a recent video on xrp uh let me sh get that out for you um the xrp the last video the last video of the year uh, at at 19s where next de definitely check that video out um and these are you don't buy things when they're up at three dollars four dollars after they've gone up thousands of percents you buy them when they're cheap expecting a move up and if xrp can deliver remotely half as what they're claiming to do guys this coin can have a huge huge f uh, future so i'm definitely keeping an eye out for it i wasn't sure if i wanted to include this or not because i don't think you know it can keep going down if it breaks down below i'd probably cut it but i would look to buy some more the risk to reward from it uh, is huge potentially down here so i would look to buy xrp and i had to include xrp be just because of that reason and people call me an xrp hater i probably i'm not a hater but i'm not just buying blindly here when it goes in an uptrend if you remember Remember that famous video I made I traded XRP really well there was a huge divergence here as you can see again, in my trading course I explained the RSI mastery again people say should I look to uh, people don't want to invest in trading courses and the importance of it is you get to learn this information for the amount of money that you can lose without any knowledge of trading if you invest in yourself and I'm not saying buy my course you'll make a million dollars the next day but if you put the effort in guys you could learn to do this and there's loads of setups you can use and this was when it was going up I traded this really well and i made a lot of money in those trades i did take a loss here guys this was the we thought it's going to be the breakout for uh, the swell event we didn't really get that it was a fake out i sold and then you can see it's just been bleeding and bleeding and um i mean it, i thought you know this level could be a zone where you could look to buy it's at 19 cents which was my prediction i mean i think it could go be going down lower here as well but the, when it comes do come here there will be an opportunity to buy xrp so thank you um very much guys uh, for watching the long video i'm going to share with you my last coin and, and the last coin guys i wasn't sure which one to include uh, i wasn't sure whether to include it out of two coins and the way i'll end this video you guys will see why i've left it at that and the two coins is ada and eos and these are two coins again we've got a lot of hype huge amounts of hype around it guys i'll, I'll briefly do my introduction to them and explain to you what ada is and what eos is uh, but it's really important to understand the the sort of the, the the background information i'm trying to share with you and and that is guys all these currencies they're trying to make huge claims but they're not really have not been able to show you guys adoption and real real world use case or not until they can do that guys all the claims they make is not going to help of anything you know ada is called the 3.2 the 3.3.0 3 you know it's after bitcoin and it's, you know the first generation ethereum the second this is going to be the next one that takes it to the next level their team is very strong and they've taken an acad academic approach to it it's a third generation blockchain and all of that claims with smart contracts what they're trying to do is huge it's interesting but if they can't deliver it guys 
all this work the settlement layer this computation layer the governance process is not really going to help unless they're solving real world problems where ada is being used so it is scalable and what they're trying to do is great but it all comes down to actually delivering it and um that is that is why i included these two coins near the end it's a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project and it's fully open source cardano is developing a smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed it's the first blockchain platform to evolve out of a scientific philosophy and a more re and a research first driven approach the development team consists of largely global collective of experts of engineers and researchers so i had to include eos uh, sorry ada and I wanted to include EOS as well. I mean, if you push me to it, I'll probably say I prefer EOS to Ada if you want to just the top 10 videos. But I want to give you guys this lesson that, you know, whichever coins you talk about, guys, unless they can deliver real world use case, the price can keep going up. There might, be, I think there would be another huge foam in cryptocurrency. And you guys should be investing in yourself, you know, whether you take my course or, you know, learn it yourself. This is a potentially a great opportunity to, for you guys to learn. And, and take your train to next level if we do get another huge move up I made way more money back in 2017 when cryptocurrency was going up than in 2018 and in 2019 and the reason for that is because it was so easy you'd buy a coin and it would go up it could be down 20% but you knew it was going to go up and it was just crazy trading in those markets and we may never get that again but I think we'll definitely get a huge move up and it's really important for you to um, invest in yourself so you could take advantage of it if we do get another huge move up so um eos i mean i didn't know whether to include eos the things you know the icos were so huge i did not like it uh, the issue with the dpos in action there was a it was it wasn't a good process with blockchain involvement wasn't interesting and i didn't really like that the but i do like the governance process and the june one announcement wasn't very good uh, they really hyped the june one announcement up so i didn't like that about them as well i do like what they're trying to do with the social media decentralized social media that is why i wanted to include eos in it but these coins like i said they make huge huge claims but they've not really been able to deliver it you know june 1 was going to be one of the most important announcement in the history of cryptocurrency and it didn't it wasn't really convincing if you guys have followed my youtube channel guys uh, you guys are aware that i was look saying that it's going to be a sell the news event um i don't know if i can scroll back to june the first it was about six months ago wasn't it so what will happen june first and and we saw what happened guys it wasn't pleasant if i go look at the eos chart you'll see that there's a big move up going into the june first you can see uh, it had a nice move up into the June 1st and then on the June 1st was the exact top then it moved down so it had a nice pump for about 40% then it dropped and June 1st was the top as you can see here June 1st was the exact top and I call that live on YouTube because you keep seeing this happen over and over again and um, that's why guys it's really important to have risk management and, and this leads us on nicely to to what uh, what trading is what investing is their map is great what eos stands for their mis mission their value uh, the eos one the huge claims that they're making is really interesting the computational power but we if we don't see adoption guys if we don't see people using eos guys the, it's not really going to go up um, and you can see it's really well known with huge roadmaps and huge company of developers and you know it's, it, there's things that they're tr uh, improve, making improvements to Ethereum and, and you have to say they are um, especially the governance process the DPOS method um, and the ability to repair poorly functioning applications the availability of constitutional framework that will help resolve legal issues between uh, participants is good and is better than other cryptocurrencies but if uh, if you know they can't take it to the next level you know have the adoptions have you know a real world use case we're not really going to see anything up and you keep saying me repeat this and that is why i'm not blindly investing in crypto in smaller cryptocurrencies I'm, i've got a lot of bitcoin that i'm hodling and i do own some other cryptocurrencies but i'm not actively hugely buying loads of amounts of cryptocurrency because of that reason so let's come to this guys i want to end this video on this it was already an hour long i'll try to finish in the next five ten minutes so it's really important to understand trading versus investing this is was an our first 
video on our trading course is an hour long video I talk about risk management and what trading is how to trade it at a uptrend downtrends and how much you should risk you shouldn't be investing all your money uh, i recommend you definitely check that course out but i'm going to give you an introduction to it i'll make another video talking about my fruit, full portfolio management but this will be an introduction so traders is short term you look for short term trading and you use mainly technical analysis so that is what i do and then um, i've been doing that for six seven years or over six years now and and I've really enjoyed it. I've mastered it, and I don't. I don't want to say I've mastered it because things change. You know, the strategy that I use worked awesome on Bitcoin. You can check out all my calls live on YouTube. It's not after the fact I'm making claims. Bitcoin has been more difficult, so I've been uh, creating another strategy, which I'll be sharing with you guys. And definitely check out all the courses and everything. Uh, or whenever you watch, if you're watching it now, check the live course. If you're watching at later date, check out my website for more information. And that is why I want to keep improving it, guys. Uh, the day-to-day -day market uh, uh, movement, long-term potential and profitability. Um, there, that's what they're concerned about more. So if you really like this project and you want to invest in it, you might have some short-term losses. You're thinking more longer term. You're thinking 10, 20 years rather than you know five minutes some of the trades I take is few days to few weeks um, uh, some of them are a bit longer but usually they're quick trades you know I'm still in bad trades still in some Bitcoin trade but usually they're in a couple of hours I'm a really good scalper but I, some of the signals I provide are more swing trading the time devoted is almost full time and must be constantly updated with the news what's going on uh, it's more hands on if you're a trader more investors you look at fundamentals but one thing i want to say is guys fundamentals are very difficult in cryptocurrency so this is sort of a uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of this trading versus investing and you need to be know what you're good at uh, what you're bad at and investing is more fundamental and short and longer term trading is more shorter term and it's more real time users and using more technical analysis than fundamentals um this is i'm quickly going through this because i don't want to go longer than an hour so trading versus investing the key points fundamentals in crypto are very hard short term price is driven by emotions new trump technicals you know you could have the best technical setup but if china comes out and buys bitcoin or says crypto is a scam they'll drop or vice versa so news trump's technical analysis i mean it's not just cryptocurrency you, you've seen trump <laughs> I've, I've talked about news trump technical analysis because donald trump has been tweeting about the stock market and that's probably been one of the biggest movers this year so it's really important to keep an eye out for what news is going on with your coin or cryptocurrency in general know your strategy and stick to it guys unless you do that guys you're going to lose money you need a strategy and you have to stick to it if you can do with finance and and fundamentals great but it's going to be more longer term but whatever you do risk management is key please do not sell your house and buy cryptocurrency because you could lose all your money uh, don't invest anything you can can't afford to lose and if you're looking to have a bigger portfolio and you want to ha have some exposure so have small percentage of investing in cryptocurrency again i'm not a financial advisor so i can't give you a percentage so maybe speak to a financial advisor but have money in bonds stocks properties uh, if you're a student you want to risk some in bitcoin and cryptocurrency that's fine and if you get lucky with timing uh, you can make a lot of money if you devote your time to learning technical analysis and trading you could potentially make a living from it but it is very hard and again i'm, I'm trying to sell you a course but i'm not saying you take this course and you make money you have to take this course use the information apply it learn it educate yourself build experience and then you could start making consistent money before you can even think about doing this uh, long term and full time so i'll end the video on this i like i said uh, the next video is going to be more maybe in, in next week I'm going to make these longer educational videos for free for YouTube as well. Uh, there is the portfolio and I'm mainly investing it in Bitcoin. I'm probably more than 80-90% investing in Bitcoin usually because uh, uh, even if I buy a, a lot of cryptocurrencies and trade cryptocurrencies, my main money is in Bitcoin that I've bought and I've locked it off in a in a uh, offline wallet and I'm not probably going to look to sell it because I'm such a huge fan of Bitcoin. I don't think I'll be looking to sell Bitcoin anytime soon. And I'm, I'll write it to zero or th or, or millions or hundred thousand, whatever it goes. I'm really bought into the idea of Bitcoin. Major caps, if they've got real world ca use case, they will go up. But they're a lot riskier, and small caps are even very riskier, guys. We've seen Matic dropped eighty percent, and there's someone who bought it at the top, and he's a crazy trader. He 
chips he went all in uh, in link he's done that a few times he's made a lot of money in a few coins when it went up but it's very risky so that i mean i wouldn't invest nowhere near that even 30 percent in small caps if you this is from investing if you're trading you could have your you know uh, position size your risk management and you know what your stop loss is you could enter but if you're looking to invest in it um that is just my idea and i've shared with you what i'm doing as well so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that video if you have enjoyed it guys please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested more guys check out this group if you're uh, watching it this month or start of 2020 if later on check out my website so I'll, I'll share this website with you when it's all ready and um, i've got a course and an educational group and you can check out the educational group first for for a month if you like it then you can take the course and take your trading to the next level but uh, please guys think about risk management guys risk management first and then everything else and uh, hopefully you got found that video uh, enjoyable and uh, if, uh, hopefully cryptocurrency does great in 2020 so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button uh, make sure you turn on the notification button it, it helps me out on the uh, to keep you guys up to date whenever i release a video and when i go live um, i'm gonna start doing it every sunday you'll be you'll get a notification on when i've got live and you can understand which coins are going to do well in the shorter term and uh, my question to end this video guys is what is your favorite cryptocurrency i've shared with you a lot of cryptocurrencies my top 10 coins uh, comment below yours guys uh, these are the coins i've shared bitcoin ethereum link bat xmr neo xdz xrp and bnb and if you i couldn't really decide which one i wanted out of them if you really push for one i'll probably say eos but it's a really hard one and uh, it, it, this top 10 list can change over the over the years but at the moment if you ask me which 10 top t cryptocurrency i'll share with you these for 10 to end the video guys my question to you guys is what is your favorite cryptocurrency comment below your favorite cryptocurrency and and don't just comment saying xrp to five eight nine or a thousand or even if you do comment xrp to a thousand a ripple to a thousand just say a reason by write a line or so and let's have a great discussion below guys and if cryptocurrencies do well in 2020 i think the cryptocurrencies will have another huge move up whether it's going to be in 2020 or in a later year uh, i think bitcoin will go up uh, in the long term and if other coins are doing well if other coins uh, actually have adoption and use case i think the whole of cryptocurrency can go up massively anyways guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you for listening to me for an over an hour it really means a lot to me happy new year thank you for supporting the rockstar trading channel hopefully you guys still support and join us in our rockstar trading group uh, so i'll turn the video i want to thank you guys again smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much and see you guys soon.